and feminism <laughs> lies to women about a lot of things. Okay. Was, I mean, they, they just, because here's the thing with feminism, sexual empowerment, everything like that. That's cool. That's cool. But feminism doesn't uh, acknowledge biological hardwired traits in men and women. What feminism isn't, feminism isn't going to tell you is that the more men you have sex with, the lower your chances of being able to land a guy in a long-term relationship that's going to take you seriously that you actually like and want to be in a relationship with. Why assume that's exactly what we want, though? And, and let me answer your question. Why men feel so entitled to what it is that they want, ideology-wise, right? Because 90% of the women here agreed to, oh, I will submit to a man, or mm -hmm. I should be take caring to a man, or mm -hmm. I should be loyal to a man, without having that reciprocated. Right. My perspective, and I know that you guys have probably already preconceived mm -hmm. an outlook on me in regards to my sexuality and what did I feel and what did I do. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's like I just look at it like a man does. Sure. Right. Like I should have my pick and I should be able to do and feel and see things exactly how I want and my ideology without feeling so emotionally attached to something because society expects me to. I have my own preconceived consumption of that and i don't have to like have it like from whether i where i come from or anything else it's it's my own preconsumption of like i'm gonna think of like a man i know how a man looks at me he looks like an object yep i look at him the exact same way and that has saved me from numerous amounts of heartbreak and uh, being upset or you know depressed or whatever it is women feel from being uh, disappointed by men because they expect something and expectations are a construction zone for disappointment Okay. without so, having that conversation initially. Hey baby, can I expect you to be loyal to me? No, they just expect it because they start feeling something without having that conversation. Okay. So this okay? is a multi-pronged question. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's address first this thing about male entitlement. <sighs> all right, ladies, you ain't going to like to hear this, but all you guys have standards of men that are fairly ex Hey, can we keep it quiet in the back over there, guys? So, um, women have... Uh, 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 okay, what do men want? Men want cooperation, sex, food maybe, <laughs> and her to not be promiscuous. Men don't have many standards, mm -hmm. okay? However, women are wanting to be taller than me, make more money than me, be stronger than me, be more confident. Have be able to talk my uh, give me give me that game have vibes pay my bills pay be, have uh, more make more money than me. Women have way more requirements of men than men have of women. So what I'm going to say is this: since women require so much more of men, I think if a man meets these standards, he should be fucking entitled to it. The problem is this, ladies: women are it's completely socially acceptable for women to have standards and exert them. No guys under six feet tall. No guys that don't make a certain amount of money. Whatever. But when a man says, hey, I expect this and that and this to compensate for all I'm bringing to the table, women have a problem with that. That's the problem. Now, going back to what you're saying about loyalty, men and women show loyalty completely differently. Men show loyalty <laughs> by taking care of you, spending money on you, giving you non-sexual attention, listening to your problems, etc. Women show loyalty by not having sex with other men. 